action back behind the play. Schimmick and Houston Parkman, and there they go. The officials try to put an end to this as quick as they can. Morgan Winters around Bone, eight of the near side goal line. Try to steer it up ahead, and Middlestat will go to the penalty box as Klafka going after Middlestat, but hold on, Viegas. Or rather, that's Winters on the near side. As here's Klafka throwing some punches there against Bonet, and Bonet with an overhand right, and Klafka wants a piece of Bonet. Under 60 seconds to go in period number two, it's Bowman reverses it as Cooley stands up his man, and that was just incidental contact, as that was Nolan Renwick who's slow to his skates. And now Cooley is going to drop the gloves here. All in the near side circle. And the Stars end. And he's throwing here with Kyle Bettens. Cooley and Bettens. Cooley wrapping up Bettens. Throws a right. And another right from Cooley. Bettens with an overhand right. And they continue to joust. A couple of punches from Cooley. And the referees break it up prematurely. He's tied up by Dubinsky. And Captain Wallace. Low slot. Around to the back side, and Wallace cross-checking Dovis in the head, and now Dovis wants a piece, and Wallace is swinging his stick, and Wallace dropping the gloves, and he's going to take on every single one of the Lancers if he can, and he takes down Cameron to the ice. 407, left in period number three, Winter Wallace had enough of Jakub Dovis, and on the far side now, it's Alexi Sergeyev of all people on top of a Lancer, wrestling him down to the ice. And Winter Wallace standing over, that's Karpa, and Mitchell, and Sergeyev now dropping the gloves. Sergeyev dropping him, with Mitchell on the goal line, tying him up. And Sergeyev, the Russian who played in the QMJHL, trying to hold his own and willingly doing so, loses his jersey and swinging blindly. And a couple of good shots there for Mitchell. Alexei Sergeyev and Mitchell, and an uppercut there from Sergeyev. And the officials break this one up, but they still tangle. And Alexei Sergeyev throwing his helmet into the air. And Troy said he has Johnson play it to the red line. Back into Tri-City's defensive end. Johnson is knocked down. Nardigia is going to go after. And we've got a fight now. It's Laba and Nardigia swinging. Down to the ice goes Nardigia. Smith coming back in the back check here. Hides it up along the wall. Rhodes gets a piece of it and he gets it out ahead in the Stampede. Pavage gets flattened at center ice. Oh, he got hit hard. He's slow to get up here. He will get back up though. And the puck is played ahead. And now they drop the gloves. Here we got our first fight as Rhodes goes at it. And it's a quick one. Rhodes got tied up there. Back in front. Oh, it's fanned on rebound shot and it's covered by Miller. Fleming was there but he fanned on it, rolled off his stick. Now he's tied up, and now the gloves come off again as Flaming is going at it here with Hudson, and Flaming trying to take him down, and they both go down hard. He pulled the light on the pass from Sykes to Ethan Ward. Got airborne, hot box, thrown down, and now McDonald with his drop the gloves, and we're going to get one. It's a tie here. He's thrown down quick, McDonald gets two quick right-handers. Pass, and Jack Peart has to retreat. Plays it across, and now we've got a fight. Wong and Spencer Smith locked up just inside the blue line, and Wong takes a couple of hard rights, comes with some uppercuts, and Smith goes down, and that's going to be it for that fist to couple. There, but Boynton up to the task once again. Wong runs over a Stars player right in front of the bench, and then Fullman comes at him, and Wong is going to go again. This is going to be his second fight of the night. And that one isn't going to last very long. Around one skater, gets around Wallace in deep. Here to shot. Well, at the save, trying to hammer home the rebound. Bard holds. Wallace let go of him, Winter. Here's another skirmish in front. Hartman ready to go, ready to dance a little bit. A swing there by Fulmer, and there they go. Officials get them separated. Fulmer got one shot in. They were worried about Wallace and Bargholtz. 
They got those two separated, and then another one. Cartman's not done yet. They better get Cartman settled down. He wants more, and the officials, they're doing everything they can to... wins the puck when it is put down. DeRocher flips one toward the net. A dipping chance that Glockner gloves. And now at the front of the goal, Schmaggy drops the gloves. We've got swinging away here. Schmaggy and the gambler's Sawyer Scholl. He's got a breakaway chance and a save by Randazzo as Shingothi tried to go for the five hole and Randazzo closed it. Big hit at center. It's going to be a penalty on Tucker Ness. And now we're going to have a gambler trying to come after Ness. That's Tucker. Tucker, Ness, and Jesse Tucker jabbing at each other. An uppercut from Tucker. Ness answers with a right trying to get Tucker's helmet off. They go down to the ice and come back up to their knees before the linesman can step in between. Ness knocked down a gambler player at center who was backpedaling, and Tucker reacted. Left in regulation. And now we're going to have a fight right off the draw. Renland getting tangled up, and he's going at it with Gurney. Oh, we'll fire this one in. Bounces all the way to Williams and just covers it up. Now, Liam Devlin starting an altercation with whacking the puck that was covered up by the netminder. Now fists are being thrown as Devlin taking the gloves off, and now he's feeding it. In a headlock, continues to throw right. Mikhail, McCallis, Barton. Referee barking at Devlin now, and get the fans woke back up. And they should be tired or quiet. Anyways, now another fight. Cam Mitchell. The gloves are off. He's throwing some rights. Still connecting. Trying to pull the jersey now. Feeds another right. He's over there in a fist and cuff with Smatchy. And they'll both go down. Drop back into the Green Bay defensive end now. As a stick is lost at center, and Cade Lemmer wants to go with Braden Standard. I saw a stick go flying, and then Lemmer flicked his gloves off and jumped on Braden Standard from behind. Now we have another pair going. Mason Lorai throwing big swings at a man. I think that might be Jack Bessig on the receiving end of that. Now we've got a fight behind the play. John Triskinis and Eric Middendorf. Triskinis feeding Middendorf right. Now going to the uppercut. Over the top, he takes Middendorf down. And the puck ahead with Anderson. Now Shouty won't let Jensen get his stick back. He keeps smacking it out of him. And now we might have a fight going on here. And here they come. The gloves are off. Jensen feeds him a right. Sends him another one. Feeds him once more. Shouty trying to connect. Jensen's got him and throws him down. Nothing, and Deneen will head to the locker room here a little early because of the penalty. There for a moment, and Wiley is able to use that time and space to get a good scoring opportunity, go upstairs, and give the Waterloo squad. And now we're going to have a fight at center ice. Fairmouth. Takes a couple of swings and lands a couple of rights. Then, right in front of the Buccaneers bench. And that is going to fire up the troops. The momentum off that power play from Tri-City resulted in that goal by Klapka. And now here comes a fight. Cole Kraft and Adam Klapka in the defensive zone for Tri-City. Kraft with some overhand rights. And look at Kraft start to throw against Klapka. He loses his lid as Kraft. Another overhand right. And Kraft continues to throw against Klapka. They joust to the ice, but Cole Kraft and Adam Klapka. Play over the box line. Flips it past the glove of Keppel. Trevor Mitchell reverses it. Oh, and a big hit there by Gleb Baremia. Fresh off a shift change, he absolutely leveled number 14, Alex Laferriere. 
And now a fight behind the net. It's Cleb Veremyev against Trevor Mitchell. Mitchell with some overhand rights. But Veremyev has the size. And he'll continue to throw. Nice overhand right again by Veremyev. They wrap up. The helmet of Mitchell is off. Veremyev continues to throw. They tie up for just a couple of moments. But Cleb Veremyev, what a hit. All right, battling there in the corner as the puck comes near side. Lumberjacks on it. One-timer. Kicked out of there. Rondazzo on a fight. Here's Gertie. Gertie's throwing some haymakers. He's got him on the ropes, and down they go! What a fight there from Gertie. He had had enough. I don't think he could allow that fourth goal or that uh, four goal cushion. And now a fight or a tangle right in front of the Dubuque bench. It's Lagerbach and Alexander, and the linesmen are in the way, and they're still throwing. Lagerbach and Alexander, they wanted to get some punches off, and Arrigo is having a tough time as he finally gets Lagerbach to it. Slip top of it. We got a fight brewing. It's Deneen battling Loney. Loney got his helmet off. He'll take a cut back and forth. Deneen, back and forth it goes at a tie up. We got another one going. Fusco battling a Sioux Falls player. And now out of time. Lincoln at full strength. Sioux City 0 for 1 on the man advantage. Both power plays not very effective so far. It's 0 for 1 and 0 for 1. Extras going on. We got a fight. Blanchard doing battle right now right in front of the Musketeer bench. He has his man down after taking a couple. They're down on the ice and we'll see. Five minute majors and tens as they try to wrap them and pull them apart. Blanchard missing his, his helmet but he doesn't want to give up on the play. Tied at 1-7-13 left to go in the second period. And with a timeout on the ice, let's take a break. We'll come back with more of the second after this. On the courtyard by Marriott, Black Fox Network and 1650, the fan. What's the Where can you get We're going to talk about it. It looked like there was going to be an initial penalty on Sioux City because Glockner was leaving the crease and coming toward the Black Clock bench, but then the situation escalated. 1-1 the score, and it looks like the indication is five. There's at least one player down there, Argentina grappling along the end wall and drawing the ire of Jimenez as the puck squirts up the wall and brought out to center, chipped down towards the Hawks zone. We've got a fight behind the play with Argentina and Jimenez swinging at each other. They've both lost their helmets, and Jimenez loses his balance now. Argentina goes down on top of him, and the night at its end for both his helmet who lost his stick now he does get control of it in the Chicago zone gets double team and knocked down Hillman trying to pull Doan down on top of him and Hillman rips his gloves off he and Doan are going to go Hillman and Doan and Doan firing right hands on Hillman Doan still firing right hands Doan almost lost his footing his helmet has him pinned against the boards now Doan Goes down as Hillman tackles him on the back of the cage. Will Hillman had had just about enough. Or Mindorf chipped ahead looking for Coronado. This is going to triple trickle in on Chauvet, and he will cover it up. Coronado getting tied up with Mike Brown. Brown's gloves are off, and here we go again. Coronado shut down by Brown. Brown jumps on top of him. Brown's not done with him. It is getting very, very testy between these two. Back to the red line at center. Big check from Donato. And now Renwick went, went, went after Donato. And Donato and Renwick, they're trading blows. Big punches from each side. They stand back up. The horse sounds. What a tilt.
across for Fulmer along the far side. And now for Erdahl, he goes off the high glass, and oh, what a hit there, and Erdahl's back up to his skates as Austin Wong gets his helmet taken off, and now look out, Smolin and Dominic James are going to drop the gloves. James right at the star line. And James taking Smolin down to the ice, 10.34 left in period number one as Erdahl was absolutely flattened by Austin Wong, who can really bring it. Ice until the third period. It's one of those things, you know, they start to get to know each other. Transition from the red line. Here's Gasparini and waved upon back and forth. Not a lot of possession time going on by either squad. A big hit applied. Sioux Falls, big hit applied up high, and that was a cheap shot. Here it's going to get a little ugly because Sioux Falls player took one, and now Sioux City. Here comes a fight. Grievo Krasoff is dropping the gloves, and he's going after Levens. He cracks him. He gets him to the ice. Gets him again. He'll get him again. He keeps going. Levens down on the ice, and a five-minute major coming up. Whizzed by him and went off the glass behind the net. Far side, tries to do a fight behind the plate here. We've got Stephen Bellini dropping the gloves. Omaha going after Bellini. It's Mike Posma. Posma and Bellini, former teammates, training big blows. Bellini with a big one. Neither team's been very sound defensively, but better tonight and the goaltending has been good for both teams this one poked in deep by Hudson now we've got a fight John Draskinis is going to drop the mitts and feed right hands to the face of Jared Crespo both of them still on their feet still throwing rights oh Crespo without his helmet and now they agree to call it to force it in but it was bounced back out the center and Suda will ring it back in from the near side Big hit right in front of the Fargo bench, and Hodgson wants to go. Hodgson and Devlin at center ice. Devlin got a couple of good shots in. Richardson up ahead to Brissini at the line. Brissini lost control of the puck and then was dumped, but he's going to draw a penalty in the process, and the force are going to go on the power play. And we're going to get another draw. by Strinden. And now Kelly at the blue line. Chips ahead for Strinden. Right wing, toe drag to Tresca. Tresca swooping around the wraparound is walled off and now Strinden's down and injured. And we've got a fight. It's Pennington against Crespo again who's dropped the mitts for the second time this series and Pennington beats him right hands, pins him against the corner boards far side. Now Crespo will pin Pennington into the boards and that is it. Gabe Blanchard. Far side, Kirvo Krasov. He was poked. Now Irie sends it back around for Blanchard. Blanchard off the high glass, takes a hit from Kraft, though, and Kraft gets cross-checked, and that could be a penalty. And now they're going to drop the gloves. Gabe Blanchard and Cole Kraft. Kraft swinging with the overhand rights. We'll try and take off the helmet of Blanchard on the near side half boards. Kraft with some more rights. Blanchard with his second fight against the Stars this season, and Kraft working him over with some more rights. Blanchard with a big swing and a miss, and they both get taken down. But Cole Kraft, that's what you love to see. Cross check in the back by Gabe Blanchard as the puck was sent down the ice. Only one ref watching the puck. There's a take by Jimenez up into the offensive end. Jimenez trying to race it down against Grebel. Grebel went into the wall hard, and Grebel's paying a price on the end of this one, and we're going to see it. Here we go. And you can see it coming. Jimenez put a man into the wall who's still down. An exception was taken to that. Back and forth, the punches are coming. We got a great one going on behind the net, and the Force are going to win it, and the crowd comes to life. To take the draw, and right now the Musketeers on some of their better pressure of the night. Fargo looking to get the puck out of their own end and looking to do it rather quickly. Puck off the wall, Trevor Grebel, and now we've got another one going on. This is Wong, big left hand for Wong to get this started. A couple of uppercuts and a big haymaker thrown over the top by the Musketeers' Chase Bradley. And then Wong with one big shot ends it. Mercury will get called for a hooking penalty, then finishes off a check. Sasson goes after Mercury, and Laferriere will respond in kind. 
A glove goes flying. One of the linesmen, I take that back, two of the linesmen get tangled up and brought down to the ice as well. They're still going after Laferriere. And now Mercury drops the gloves. Gets swung down. And the officials will immediately jump on top. Stop made by the netminder. And then they'll clear it all the way down. And now bodies piling up at the other end. As the puck was sent away. And now Fairmouth is going to go. Dropping the gloves. Fairmouth lands a couple of rights. Stays with it. Throws another haymaker. Now goes over the top. And taking the worst of it is Matt Argentina. Argentina dropped and now pinned there for a moment and thrown to the ice. 10 23 left in period number two. And now a fight. Gleb Baremia. All right, it's center ice against Nikita Krivokrasov. Old time hockey. Baremia with a right there for Krivokrasov. Knocks off his helmet. Another right for Baremia. He's pounded Krivokrasov with right crosses and takes him down. Or nothing. Sucked over to the far side. He slipped racing to this one. Nice hit there by Jack Horbach. And look out another fight. Jack O'Leary. This time with Mikey Adamson. O'Leary throwing some rights and they both lose their footing. Those overhand rights from Nardicia on Loney. Oh, that one got the top of Loney's head. As Griffin Jarecki up ahead. Griffin Jarecki wide open, but a fight. Oh, man, and Stanley Cooley taking down a man on the near side afterwards. But you got to feel for Griffin Jarecki. Well, that play may have been offside. Abbott ran into down below the end line. Gurney moves it to the far side. Grundy will pick it up. Here's Kyler Grundy. Fear we got a fight. Gurney's going to light it up. Gurney's trying to go. Gurney's trying to get an arm free as he takes shots. Now Gurney with a wrestle move, and down they go. Gurney and Winter Wallace. This is this towards the cage of Dovis. It's a tie up after the far side of out front. Lincoln jamming away at it. And Omaha came flying in. Dovis catching a piece, and now maybe a fight breaking out. Gloves are off, and Conroy throwing fists out to the far side as he takes down Dominic James. Now Mitchell in a mix of things. Trevor Mitchell. And Ayrton Martino. And Ryan Lundbach. Get Sam Renlund starts it the other way. Ahead to Matt Chapani and he fires it into the offensive end. Mercury the first one there, but Gallatin will play it behind the net. Mercury very slow to get up in the corner as he took a hit, and now Renland is going after Smolin, and this might turn into something a little more crazy as Strom and Renland are throwing haymakers along the glass on the far side. Gallatin's got a guy tied up. And Chapani's still swinging a Gallatin, and Mercury's still very slow to get up in the corner, and that's where this whole thing started. Renlund going off the ice, screaming at the fourth bench as he goes. Feed off Livinovich. Those two slam into the boards, and now Adam Fantilli will take his time on the breakout. Sean Farrell is behind the play. Livinovich getting into it. Here we go. Three rights from the board, four on Livinovich. Five, and they break it up quickly, but. Boards, and Bonet reaches this with a lot of space. Strobel cutting him down there on the four check. Clay Hannes. Hannes is upended there, and Bonet goes right after Janet. Are they going to drop him? They're going to go. Janet and Bonet and Bones knocks him down with a right hand. And another high uppercut, and Bonet with a cross, and they both go down. Bonet wants a piece of Janet after that terrible hit. And left Clay Hannes on the ice. They're both up now. And offside as Mitchell was down in the play. And Racing to get back on his feet. Now him and Donato going back and forth. Gloves are off. It's fight time. Mitchell connects a right. Trying to pull the jersey off. Now the uppercut. Hits him again and takes him down. Is it a Samosa? Off the wall to Jimmy. 
Jemek plays into the corner, and there's Smith is dropping the gloves, and here we go. He goes with Lutke. Lutke's helmet is off. Smith trying to get a right in, now takes him down onto the ice with 15.02 to go here. And, and now we've got a fight right at the Waterloo blue line. A couple of big rights thrown there, but Truman gets right back in it. Swings away, takes another right, and brought down by Tucker Ness. Here's Gurney, or pardon me, that's Tucker. Tucker dropped the bench, and a big right. Big right, Tucker avoiding shock. Tucker with a big right. Oh, he's blasting him. Tucker with a huge right. Oh, one right to the nose. Tucker battling here as he's got him tied up. He switches southpaw. Tucker with it. He's getting fasted in the back of the head. Now he gets the arm free. Tucker gets the arm free. Big right hand over the top. Tucker trying to end this fight. Now Tucker with a big right. Gets the arm free. Avoids a shot and blast right in the face as he's taking on Larkin. This fight's still going. Tucker has him tied up. Trying to get to it and that'll do it. What a fight by Jesse Tucker. Near side. Out to Coons. Lost the puck. Now down into the zone, batted at by Carfonia. And some heavy hitting going on here. Green Bay with it. And we got a fight. Oh, Coons wants to go. Gloves are down. Here goes Coons. Big rights being thrown. Coons with a huge overhand right. Shots being thrown in by Sinclair. They're tied up. And now Coons with a big shot. Coons battling here. Tucked the helmet off and down they go. Face off here with eight seconds to go in the power play. To the wall it goes. That'll get cleared out by the Lumberjacks, and that'll do it. And some pushing and shoving back behind the plate. Feezing drops the gloves, and here we go. Feezing with huge right drops him immediately. And that'll do it for that fight. Feezing got cross-checked one too many times by Kemp, and he laid him out at the dot. Takes a look. Upper position, Kuznetsov check. Rose a shot right on goal, kicked away by Umberico. Savage up, buries off the man. Here we go. We got. Uh, Martin on top of somebody. That's because that's up. And the USA player, I can't see who it is. Because that's up and uh, Gallagher. Trainer checking on Austin May. The game is not in question. And uh, the referees have got to break this thing up. And one of our favorites, Owen Fowler. So Liam Devlin didn't shy down, and Levins was asking for it as he was trying to go. Fowler on the way back to the bench, and Fowler's like, I don't want any of you. Get away from me. Devlin said, you know what? I'll take a piece of you. And that was a heavyweight tilt there, a good fight back for both teams. Arizona lost the puck inside the line, and the force able to move it back out to center with Huglin losing control of it in some traffic. We've got a whistle and a penalty on the Blackhawks. And Fargo now going to a power play. It's Ness and Richardson are trying to get at each other. And they're swinging away but not landing anything. Richardson has his jersey come up and losing his balance. The linesman will get in to intervene. Baramiev and Draper with some words. Back out to center for Dominski, and they're going to go. Baremiev and Draper right at center. Oh, what a trump! Oh, nice rights from Baremiev as he drops Draper to the ice. Tempers are flaring here now between these two rivals as Satera was down injured. 
And Smolene came in and started punching him. Nadine had to come in and try and pull him back. Going up against Estafa, it's dropped, snaps a shot. And a, I was going to say, no time for a second shot. And then Estafa drops a player behind the goal line. And now out front, LaFerrier getting into it with his man. And I don't think there's any issue there other than the fact that he kind of swung his stick at him. Meanwhile, Wheeler going at it with Carpa, and Carpa wants to drop the gloves. He lands a couple of rights. Another right, Carpa's helmet comes off, but Wheeler's taking the worst of it. Ducks out of the way of a couple of lefts, does land one. Now it's starting to even out. Carpa still at it with him, tries to get his helmet dislodged, and does a left again. Now we've got another fight breaking out between Mercury and a stop, a taken down the ice. And now up are both Carpa and Wheeler. Dick knocked away. McDonald back the other way. And he slips into his own bench. And then we get some pushing and shoving as McDonald and Hughes are going at it. And Hughes wants a piece of him, and he's got it. McDonald is slow to get into it. It's not Hughes, it's Hodgson. A couple of punches, but both players still wearing their helmets. Hodgson getting a couple of uppercuts in along glass. They're tied up, and the linesmen are going to come in and separate. And we'll get some fighting penalties out of this. The higher seed playing potentially three games, and the lower seed playing two. Nice gets run into there by Deneen, and now Deneen drops the gloves, and here he goes. He's going with Mazur, and he gives him a couple of rights. Mazur comes back and down, Deneen takes him. Back here, knocked into the neutral zone, and collision there as the player goes down. Shonen got hit there by Levins, and now the gloves are coming off with 5.03 to go. Levins will give it to McWard. A couple of shots to the back of the head, and Levins has had enough. Parikh behind the goal. Stuff attempts on the wraparound, denied by Parikh, and now... It's Riley Rosenthal and Owen Mellenbacher behind the play, throwing hands. Mellenbacher, a series of rights, and he'll take Rosenthal down. Oh, now we've got a fight between Charlie Strobel and Stanley Cooley. They're swinging away at the Blacklock Blue line. Looks like Strobel landed one early. Cooley stayed with it. Now Strobel, a couple of left hands. Cooley, I think, maybe surprised that Strobel swinging with the left. He tries to go to the left hand, and they trade blows. And now Strobel up right with a cross that hit the back of Cooley's head. The linesmen are going to intervene. We got a fight behind the play as Ryan Alexander dropped the gloves with Sam Gurney. It was going to be an odd man rush for Green Bay. Couple of rights exchanged, and then finally Gurney takes Alexander down. 1-1 one, one our score, 16-43 left in the third period. Sato in the high slot, stick saved by Burnham. Near side goes past the stick of Hannes. And Sato with a hit there as Sato gets hit from behind right into the Sioux Falls bench, far side wing. We get a whistle eventually as Sato trying to fight his way out of it. And Sato's dropping the gloves with some uppercuts right in front of the Sioux Falls bench. Donaldson, the recipient of those as Sato wants a piece of him. 16-30 left. Go end to end. He's got it. And a fight upcoming. Will Deneen and Jake Bonet. Bonet and Deneen at center ice. Jake Bonet with a right and another right. They're really throwing him now. And Deneen with a catch up high for Bonet. And they both go down. Bonet and Deneen. 544 left in the third. They were ready for that one. Well, they'll be done for the period, both of them. It stirs the pot a little bit. And and I think what Crossa was doing was defending a heavy hit that uh, Loney put on, uh, I think it was Bros. <laughs> Two teams know each other. Boy, you got a lot of uppercuts there. 
And up against the ice. Oh, and a miss there. Grasa trying to come on him now. <laughs> Loves with Ness. And the linesmen are going to let the two of them go as they circle up at center ice. USHL penalty minute leader Sam Renlund and Tucker Ness, who has a hold of Renlund's helmet, takes it off. Now trying to swing, and they both swing at each other. Renlund lands a right and then tackles Ness in the center circle. And the linesmen get in between the two. 11-14 here at center. Here we go. Oh, scratch, Jack Barr. A couple rights. Break me off three of those. Four rights, Jack Barr. Five, six. As he's wailing, seven, eight. Oh, goodness gracious, Jack Barr going to town. Hammerhead City. I'd be careful I was him, though, with those bare hands along that plastic helmet. Quinn Hudson. Oh, Big Cat saying it all. They're tussling now as Quinn Hudson got a couple in on par, but about 10 heavy rights. And a big hit up high, no call. And uh, now we got a whistle. Ritz Govian just got cracked, and now we got more. Chase Bradley's going to go to town with two Fargo Force players. Boynton is down like he's uh, got hit hard. And boy, I tell you what, this thing is breaking and going pretty strong right now. It started off with Ritz Govian just getting cracked in the face with no call. And then Bradley went in on Boynton. And now Boynton's coming at Ritz Govian. He's going to come and try to fight him. He throws three uppercuts. Now Sioux City tacks Boynton. They're going at Boynton. They got him on the ice. They rip his helmet off. We got a melee going on. And now a big pileup. And now Sioux City jumping on top of that goaltender again. It is going crazy right now with bodies on the ice. And now Jimenez is just going at Boynton. Pulls over his jersey. And now they're still going at the goaltender for Fargo. Has his jersey loose, and Jimenez, and he'll kind of crack him a couple of times. It's Jimenez and Boynton, a couple uppercuts, and now he's got him again. He keeps hitting him, and now a Lutke fight on the other side. Boynton lost, and now heads over. Sioux City and Ritz Govian. And now some more going on. It's going to be Lutke going to town. Has his man on the ice, and going with on the right side. Lucky and now Mons. We got multiple fights and we'll see multiple uh, penalties coming up. Well, well, if you want to stir the pot, I guess that's how you do it.